Hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your love and romance reading. So this is going to be four parts. Um, first, we're going to pull up pull out three cards from the Romance Oracle deck, um, just to see what our what our energies are. You know, just an idea of what's going on. And then we'll dig in deeper. We're going to do an overall reading, uh, overall energy with the Fairy Tale deck. We're going to do a cultic cross, and then we're going to find a person. So let's see three cards for Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the next 15 days this is for my dear lovely and handsome sagittarius and all right let's see here we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so i feel like you're a person maybe going through this deep healing of their past and really looking into how they have been treating their family or what relationship they have with their family and i feel like they're moving to calmer waters could be your, your energy sash um with the hanuman deck so um there could be a retreat like they're um, wanting to go to a body of water you may want to experience like um the ocean or the sea or going to the beach you may feel like doing that um could be in another part of the world maybe just to completely heal the past and you know this feeling it could be an emotion that is linked to your childhood or to how your family made you feel when you were a, a younger so let's get an overall energy from the fairy tale deck. So two cards from the fairy tale deck for my lovely and handsome and macho, <laughs> macho man. Sagittarius. Let's see. For Sagittarius, please. Ooh. All right. And we have snake. This is the first time I've gotten a snake. And then we have book. And also, this is the first time you're opening new knowledge for me, um, Sage. So let's see what that means. I'm excited. So it's going to be long. I'm going to read everything. So cheating, betrayal, manipulation. Ricky Tiki Tavi comes from the modern day fairy tales of Roger Kipling's The Jungle Book. Ah, a brave manga mo must protect his humans from the evil cobras, cobras that lurk in the garden. He manages to kill Nag, but must battle the female Nagini. She is a dark haired woman, but this card sen sometimes indicates. The snake shows up where you need to look out for betrayal and manipulative people close by. Be wary when the snake appears because someone is out to deceive you. Snake slithers into your world to cause problems. Look to the cards nearby to determine who or what may be who or what may be trying to trap you. Um, carefully explore your spread to see which way this snake coils. Sorry about that. Um, my camera killed itself. <laughs> so sorry. Um, Carefully expo explore your spread to see which way the snake coils. That is scary. But, you know, the mangas, you know, um, won this. Someone is going to protect you, though, from the evil cobras that lurk in the garden. It must, um, she is a dark-haired woman that this card sometimes indicates the snake shows up there. You need to look out for a betrayal and manipulative people. So I feel like this happened already, and you're going through forgiving and, you know, this, and moving to calm calmer water, Sash. So there could be like a betrayal that happened in the fi family dynamics or someone you see as your family and you're letting go of that energy so let's see what the book is about all right so we have um secrets studies knowledge um it says here is the book of all the tales of all the peoples of the world fairy tales have been told person to person tribe to tribe and family to family for as long as we can remember this is the universal teaching method of the world read a fairy tale to learn the knowledge of a people here you see the quintessential grimoire of the magic worker research secrets and investigation are the message of the book when you crack the cover you will find a treasury of magic mysteries and more i'm sorry i think there's a message coming in um i'm getting distorted okay there it's anyway okay like they did, we, you will find that research is called for if this card falls close to your question. There may be secrets yet to be revealed. Symbols flow out of the book, but can you grasp them or will they float away? Hidden in these pages is the wisdom you seek, the knowledge you yearn for. When the book opens in your spread, know that you may not have all the facts yet, but they are coming to you. Secrets will reveal it themselves. Become a student of your own life so that you are prepared to receive the information. The book can also indicate the material success that comes from acquiring knowledge. Oh, wow, there could be like a new... Um, avenue that you are going through where it requires you to study but um in connection to the snake i feel like you need to back back up a little bit and see the snake eye to eye and dance through the rhythm like you know when you know the flute and then the cobra will um appear out of like basket and you have to dance through the rhythm so it may be some kind of a very challenging situation here where it needs you to be more creative i feel with the book and you have to use your knowledge your expertise and you have to really gain that expertise 
because this is something that's gonna bite you if you don't think this through. Okay, so let's um, do a Celtic cross for our Sagittarius. So of course our Sagittarius are bold. So I feel like they're going for another avenue here and gonna try something out and expand. Um, but let's get more information what we can get from the uh, uh, traditional tarot. So what is, um, what is Sag current energy? Ooh, page of wands. So knowing what you want, knowing what you want to do, and going for it. Just this card. You could be dealing with a Libra, or you could have Libra in your chart, but I feel like you're going through the terms and what you need to do, the legalities in, of the situation in order to establish this new venture, maybe, that you're dealing with. Um, I feel like there is going to be a new beginning after a decision is made with the about, you know, about the decision, about the justice card here. So you'll be given this new beginning to move on with your life, okay? Um, I feel like whoever it was who deceived you or is about to deceive you, they're going to get their um, end of the stick. What is that? Like, I don't know. I'm missing. Okay. So let's see what is at the very top for my Sag. What is that? Okay, there you go. Um, I'm sorry. So what is at the very top for our Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is at the very top, please? Okay, here. Ooh, there's a contract. So I feel like you're going to sign a contract. There's going to be a partnership, or it could be talking about a couple, or you are coupling. Um, it looks like it's a decision that needs to be made here. So two, two of uh, pentacles and two of cups. Um, so a decision that needs to be made. Okay, so there's a contract being signed, and then you're going to integrate that into your life and try to maneuver your life with this new relationship. So it could be a relationship that you, a partnership that you are opening up for and integrating into your life. So let's see what is at underneath, please. What does the universe want you to know, Sash? Okay, so Knight of Swords. Fight for what is right. And we have the two of ones. I didn't expect that we're going to get three twos. And that means there could be like a conversation um, that will have like a positive result here. So you may be have you may have to be like the mediator in this conversation, or you could be one of the parties involved here. But a decision it needs to be made about could be about someone going back to school, or you going back to school, or taking on another journey here. It could be about a relationship. You're going back to being single again. Um, could be about taking care of yourself, how much you can give and keep for yourself. But let's see what's in the past that they want to point out for Sagittarius. <gasps> the devil. So there was like um, a very demanding thing going on in the past. It could be an addiction. Oh, it's work. It could be <laughs> work. Or something that was giving, you know, it is giving you money. So it's a source of income that is um, giving, uh, that is taking your s time. And there could be like an opportunity there. So let's see what's the outcome, please, for Sagittarius. Outcome for Sagittarius. Okay, sorry. Outcome for Sagittarius, please. I want to know, okay, here. There's the Seven of Wands, and that talks about standing your ground, not listening to what others are telling you, believing in yourself, you can do this, and the star. Wow. So the star is Aquarius energy, Capricorn. And it talks about whole peeling. Um, I feel like this is the, you know, moving into calmer water. So, and luck is at your fingertips. I feel like things are going to be amazing from here on forward. Um, no more of that toxic energy. There's going to be a new beginning for my dear Sagittarius. Very good. So let's see that spy on your person. Oh, I see the seven of wands again. So I feel like you're going to be trusting yourself, your own intuition and your own judgment in the, in the coming days, my dear Sagittarius. So, oops. So let's see, what is your person's current energy here? What is their person's current energy? What is their person's current energy, please? Current energy of Sagittarius person. Or whoever it is that they're thinking of. Current energy, okay, here. The moon. Again, the moon is showing up. It, it just keeps on showing up. And it talks about emotion triggers. Um, secrets, um, hidden emotions, you know, those pent up emotions. Oh, something about a uh, drinking spree. There could be a drinking spree and you're seeing the moon while you're, <laughs> while you're outside. 
so it could be like you could, you could be seeing the moon right now and you're like drinking it could be with somebody here but you're feeling really alive and happy so the, you could have Pisces in your chart and you're like getting your wish about a particular thing here so, oh no this is the, your person so they could be drinking and there could have been some secrets being um, blurted out in that session <laughs> or something hid hidden so if they are if they're having if they're being with friends and having a drink and it's a full moon so that's kind of romantic or they're outside I wonder what they so I feel like it's deep if there was a deep con conversation there huh there's a deep conversation okay deep conversation Okay, what is this deep conversation about? Something about a change? Something about... So, a Scorpio energy could be... Like... You know, they, they got hurt. Hurt. Um, the three of... The three of swords could be being hurt physically for me. But... I don't want to say that. Um, it may be that they're changed. They're no longer hurt. Like, they're... Let's see, because there was the they're happy because of the nine of um, the nine of cups. So let's see, what are their thoughts about you, Sag? What are their thoughts about you? What are their thoughts about you? What are their thoughts? Oh, they're, they're not okay. Sorry. All right, Sag. So they see you as this nine of nine of pentacles, Virgo energy, and you know you have nice clothes, you have. Uh, prosperity abundance you may have a pet you may be living by yourself or like you're an um you're an independent woman okay and i feel like they see you as this go-getter i feel like you know um you're the emperor so masculine energy for my sagittarius or you could have masculine energies that are dominant for you page of cups like a conversation here like um there's an apology coming in there's a care they care about you they are um they want to like sympathize or something sympathize with you let's see what is their plans for what are their plans for sagittarius please what plans do they have for sag what plans do they have for sag okay here the magician they want to manifest something amazing in the relationship oh my god what is this uh, three of swords manifest they they're manifesting pain can you please clarify the three of swords what is this about it says they're manifesting okay two of swords okay here so, so leo energy libra energy one last card please judgment at the bottom of the deck we have the temperance card so I feel like um their plans for you, their plans for you. So they I feel like they are manifesting something they don't want to happen and I feel like it talks about giving like backing up a little bit, um thinking things through a little bit. Um could be because they they want to be they want to be kind to you. They don't want to hurt you. They want to be kind to you, but they are being asked to change here by the universe. Whoever that resonates to for my Sag, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye for now.